Hello and welcome to the session. Here we will discuss the following question which says that solve 2x square minus 10x plus 13 is equal to 0. Now before starting the solution of this question we should know the formula for finding out the roots of the quadratic equation. Now we know that standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b and c are the constants and a is not equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation will have two roots and for finding out the roots the formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a or you can say x is equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a and minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. Now this formula will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Here we have to solve 2x square minus 10x plus 13 is equal to 0. Now comparing this with the standard form of quadratic equation here a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 10 and c is equal to 13. Now for finding out the roots, we will use the formula which is given in the key idea. The value of x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. Now putting the values of a, b and c here, this will be equal to minus of minus 10 plus minus b square here will be minus 10 square minus 4 into 2 into 13 all upon 2 into 2 now this will be equal to Minus of minus 10 will be 10 plus minus square root of minus 10 square is 100 minus 4 into 2 into 13 is 104 all upon 4. Now this is equal to 10 plus minus square root of 100 minus 104 is minus 4 whole upon 4. Further, this is equal to 10 plus minus square root of minus 1 into 4 whole upon 4. Now this is equal to 10 plus minus here Square root of minus 1 is equal to iota and square root of 4 is equal to 2. So it will be 2 iota whole upon 4. Now this will be equal to taking 2 common inside it will be 5 plus minus iota whole upon 4. Now 2 into 2 is 4, so this will be equal to 5 plus minus iota all upon 2. 
Hence, x is equal to 5 plus iota by 2 and 5 minus iota by 2. So this is the solution for this question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.